Hey guys, good morning. Okay, this is my second attempt. It is now 1.25 in the afternoon. <laughs> um, okay, well actually third attempt. My first one never actually got started. Um, I tried to do a reading and then of course I had a client come in and wanted a reading. So <laughs> I had to put my phone away because my comprehensive includes taking a, a look at your natal chart. Well, this client turned out to have an activation. His north node was being, or excuse me, his uh, ascendant was being so he was really, um, he is really being pushed towards his destiny, his main purpose in life. Now, the, his, his ascendant was being activated by the full moon in Cancer that's coming up on Friday. Um, that's going to be at 20 degrees. Well, his uh, ascendant was at 21 degrees Cancer, so it was definitely affecting him with trying to establish something. He's trying to establish... Uh, establish a church one that's non-denominational one that that is based uh, it's light worker based okay and it's open to everyone and anyone it matters not what your religion or your beliefs are the point is you believe in something so here is a place to worship and meet other people who don't put names or labels and do not worship false idols they worship the process hmm, interesting okay so let me get started. Uh, initially, I had already done the introduction. <laughs> okay, so yesterday, Tuesday, we had that minor transit that left you vulnerable to hackers. Some of you guys had issues in love affairs um, that could have been du due to drugs or somebody's confused or they're just, things are vague and not clear. So today, Wednesday, January 8th, we have numbers of 8 and 13. Both are numbers of the Scorpio. This is about your legacy and it's also about magic your tools your ability to cope and the transformation that that brings and the power that you are now feeling because of the magic that you're creating self-creating okay uh we have the moon transiting black moon today so that could bring for those of you who are having issues in love relationships that could bring a confrontation that forces you to confront yourself Okay, something's being dismissed, neglected, or not even being considered. Could it be overlooked? And with the moon still currently... Sorry, I had to double check. <laughs> the moon's still currently in Gemini. This could have been an accident or a mistake or a miscommunication. Okay, uh, but the thing is, if you have been working on yourself, working on your... Ascending you can transcend these things. So this could be a minor Rough patch that you can get through but also it brings awareness Okay, it brings awareness about yourself. It may bring up um, Emotions that you weren't even aware of that you can't even identify <laughs> Okay, and what do we have? Oh Mercury and Capricorn sextiling Neptune and Pisces. So what I was getting off of that is Somebody could be declaring their wishes or voicing their intent. I hope to someday fill in the blank or I wish fill in the blank or I want to be, I want to go, I want to do fill in the blank. Mercury is communication. It's talking, speaking, listening, writing, teaching. It's also traveling, traveling physically, traveling in the mind, traveling via some sort of vehicle so it could be planes trains automobiles boats it could be walking <laughs> okay so with capricorn it can be i really want to say vehicles just because the opposite axis is cancer and when i see the cancer the chariot card that makes me feel like some kind of carriage or carrier with wheels Capricorn would be the same thing too. A Capricorn is about acquisitions, uh, enterprise, and power. Okay, because it's at a positive transit so with Neptune, this could be voicing your dreams or expressing your dreams or running around and doing errands, feeling more powerful as you get more things done, building up to your dreams or building oh. a dream. All right, so <laughs> I had to deal with two clients, one of my vendors, 
and a, and a customer. So I've been gone for about, oh, about 40 minutes now. Sorry about that. That's how it goes here. Um, I'm glad I was, I'm not going to go live. I was thinking I would go live, but then I, I had a feeling I would be constantly interrupted. The moon is in Gemini. So yeah, there's a lot of people needing to talk to me or coming to visit me. And I have, you know, paperwork and errands that I'm tying up myself. Okay, so I can't exactly remember where I was, but I think it was somewhere along the lines of the Mercury and Capricorn, sextiling Neptune and Pisces, high hopes, voicing your intent. Um, I could really use a beer right now, or I could really use a joint right now, but in a happy, positive way, optimistic. Okay, and then I think I went over the degrees, which was 16. So it's like, I deserve this. I deserve to do this, or I hope to do this because I deserve it. Uh, oh, I hope to do this every day, or this is a type of service I'd like to provide. Yeah, because of the 8 and the 13, the Scorpio numbers tools, resources, ability to cope, transformation of power. I think, what was I, was I going on to the next day? Yeah, I think I already went into the next day, uh, the moon in Cancer. Hold on. Sorry about that. I had to pause it again. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just the moon in Cancer and then the full moon in Cancer on Friday. Uranus going direct that same day and the Sun conjunct Mercury or or Kazemi or combust whatever you want to call it it's on the same degree a bright idea at work or energy and focus to your tasks this could be explosive energy too How can I grow from here? Ideas to grow and move forward, which is going to happen. Um, Uranus going direct means that all the planets are direct until February 16th when Mercury goes retrograde in Pisces in the 12th house at the 12th degree. Let's see. So yeah, there's a lot of people who are trying their best to cope and to recover. And then we move into Saturday with the Moon in Leo, Mercury conjunct Saturn in Capricorn at 22 degrees. Now that is a key critical degree. Not only is Capricorn about mastery, but 22 is about mastery also. Okay, sorry about that. I do work in the store. So yes, we have to deal with constant, um, I, I want to say interruptions, but they're not interruptions. I mean, this is after all what I do. Okay, so Mercury conjunct Saturn and Capricorn at 22 degrees. Um, very imperative degree. Not only does it indicate mastery, but it indicates the master of or the mastery of. Because 22 is a number of peace. Okay, in order to be at peace, you must first master your emotions, right? Mercury, communication, the mind, your thoughts, uh, traveling, conjunct with Saturn. Saturn is the time lord. Okay, it is discipline, it is commitment, it is restriction and limitation. So, I want to say, not that your thoughts could be limited, although there are some um, that, are, that are not consciously aware. So, that could be obstinance. I won't do it. Or I will not stick to that. Or it, could, it will be like... I'm going to stick to this. Either way, um, I want to say damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, but it's not, it's not damning at all. In fact, this is good. It says that you're methodical and, patience and patient and that you can endure. Also, too, with you know, the Saturn in the Capricorn, um, all the planets, the concentration of planets in Capricorn can lead you to a cold dark place so this could be you know a possibility of being depressed 
and on the same day we also have a grand fire trine okay a grand fire trine literally says get up and move now <laughs> okay and it's between mars and sagittarius uh meaning expand explore and be optimistic make these changes now okay black moon lilith and pisces conjunct chiron and aries after a lifetime of being held back because of your emotions and because of your situation um it's time to move away from that okay and then the moon in leo because it's the healthy thing to do love yourself first okay treat that child in you as if this was a physical child external to you okay uh those are what is that five five at 28 and one degrees so closing something out feeling empowered by making changes in your boundaries and standards now with the grand fire trying um it represents the alchemical flame of initiation that means move it you got to move it move it <laughs> um and also to this is an intense impulsive energy and you're going to have to do something with it it demands an outlet okay so get out there and contribute to society and the collective okay so that's the uh small kind uh generalization general breakdown of the energies up until saturday just so you know and so you're aware ahead of time If you want to know a little bit more about the energies of cancer and what else is going on this week, the heavy energies, I recommend you watch my reading from Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, I spent an extraordinary amount of time um, explaining the astrology and the breakdown of what's going on in the stars and in the sky. So yesterday had a lot of information in it. Oh, and yesterday too, <laughs> um, if some of you guys were watching, I did make that prediction that there was a, a missile okay um huh. kind of creepy kind of freaky but you know me occasionally i'll make those predictions and a lot of it was based on one of my theories or on something that i'd read that you can hear clearly when the moon is uh, or excuse me when the galactic center is being blocked by the earth so when the moon is on the other side or when the moon is in gemini which it currently is and galactic center i think it's a uh, sagittarius uh, 26 to 27 i don't know which it is but it's pretty much exact right now as we speak this is when you can hear the clearest okay so yesterday i did make some predictions and i was tripping myself um <laughs> it seems that any kind of uh, creation static is gone and i was getting almost like silence silent night that's you know dark night of the soul capricorn energy too and look the first card despair okay this can be depression or this can be no way out this can be you feel like you have no other choice or that you don't have any choices or that all the choices that you had have been taken you have nowhere else to go no job, no job possibilities, no home, no home possibilities, no love, no possibilities of a partnership. It's just you and your dog. Okay, I just heard you could be couch surfing while you're looking for a place to call home, which is the Cancer Eclipse energy. A lot of you guys have been trying to find your way home. Now, home can not necessarily, um, not necessarily where you live. This can, you know, cancer is about the past also. So this could be, you know, back in the hood where you grew up, your mother's house, your grandmother's house, um, your old stomping grounds. It's also about past lives, not only when you're a child, but beyond that, before you were born in your last body when your soul was in your last body or the lives before that yes i believe in reincarnation because the energy of the soul of the soul never dies love never dies idea never dies all these things have been created and they constantly exist the only thing that really goes away is the vision the visual of this meat suit because uh, let's face it that energy doesn't die either it breaks down transforms into other energies and helps other 
living entities exist, okay? But in the meanwhile, like I said, your soul still exists. So despair is about not having any opportunities to move forward or feeling like you've come to the end of the road. This is just a stump in the road. Sometimes you just got to throw your hands up in the air and say, okay, I surrender. You know, I, I all these things that are happening to me. I'm not sure about the road I'm traveling on and I'm sad. I'm sad, I'm scared, I'm cold, I'm alone, I'm feeling really, really dark. For some of you guys, this could have been because a prominent female has left your life. For a lot of you guys, it could be your mother, or it could be a mother, possibly with or without a child. There could have been an accident. There could have been a death due to cancer. Um, there's so many themes that are coming up. I mean, it could be, it could be just relationship issues. It could be a kidnapping. It could be a death. But whatever it is, this main, the main feminine in your life is now gone or has exited your life. Okay, you no, you, you're no longer together, and I want to say no longer together on a day-to-day -day basis. The next card is poverty reversed okay poverty is about barely being able to meet the basic needs now you're coming along okay i mean you're definitely struggling this is a sign of a struggle you're struggling mentally physically and for some of you guys financially but this doesn't appear like it's Maybe initially at the loss of this person, you may be feeling like you lost something, okay? But you haven't lost it all. I want to say you have your health. High honor. So this could be in memory of, because high honor is, of course, honoring. It's praise. It's recognition. It can be large, grand or huge, big, a mass. So for some of you guys, this was due to cancer, or this is a some kind of funeral or a wake, or just a celebration of life for somebody. Yeah, I'm getting mass with this. She may have had uh, a cancer. So you may have lost one of the matriarchs, but there are plenty of people around you supporting you through these changes or life changes. It is possible that the main feminine is not passed away or you haven't broken up. There could have been an accident or some kind of surgery. They might be in the hospital. It's okay. I'm hearing it's not over till the fat lady sings. Hold on. I'm going to put you on pause. Yeah, it's very possible that they're in the hospital right now. And I didn't realize it, but um, when I paused it, it was on 1818. Okay, that is healing. Being the example of healing or healing and sharing your story help, because it helps others to heal. 1818 is... It equals nine, okay? 18 equals nine. It's either unconditional love, an ending where you feel powerless. Okay, so somebody could be feeling really, really powerless because they can't help this main feminine energy in their life. So this could be being recognized by others that you need help. So it's very, very clear that you are being supported by the public. Ooh, and somebody's getting psychic downloads too. Three cards reversed. So when I get three cards reversed to me that psychic downloads, it could mean that there's a lot of thoughts spinning in your mind or you're receiving energy or information, possibly from Schumann Resonance or your divine guides. And basically what happens is 
you're functioning on automatic while this is processing in the background. So you can, it's almost like you're, you're on automatic or you're like a ro robotic, like you're basically functioning, but you're uh, in the background, your mind is doing other stuff. And what happens, it takes approximately two to three days that I've found from my own experience it takes two to three days before this information is integrated or before this scene plays out. So what we got here is a message from a loved one. Could be from a Libra, could be from a child, could be from another, oh. Can I go here? So this could be a message from a young child asking if they can go visit somewhere, and I want to say visit abroad. Now when I say visit abroad, that could mean they want to travel, they want to go to somewhere new, or they want to visit abroad, as in a female. They want to come visit. They may be underage though, so you may be worried about the effects on the child. Okay, false person is usually about miscommunication, so there can be a mix-up in communications today. Or you, I hope, oh, what was I saying? I hope someday, I wish. I wish I can go with you. I hope that she recovers because false person is danger. I hope she recovers from the edge of danger. So this could have been a medical emergency. It could be due to a fire could be due to somebody else's devilish actions. Heart attack. Message is communication. Okay, so this can be a phone call, an email, a letter, a text message. Something to that effect where somebody gets in touch with you and this is somebody, either your dependent or a partner or the person is a Libra or your Libra. Okay, this is a positive thing. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? False person is miscommunication. So that is, false person is number eight. Hiding something. So there could be a child involved here or another woman and it kind of feels like you're protecting them like how's it going over there and you want to give them positive news well it looks like things are going to get better but you may be lying um you may be just uh, what do you call it giving them a soft delivery of news distant horizons is like my jupiter and my neptune okay so something spreading spreading or it could be that they missed the cancer or they missed a, there was something that's missing and that it spread so you may have recent recently got news that somebody's cancer has spread Spread far and wide with no limit. Okay, so this could be at an exorbitant rate, is what I'm hearing. Oh boy. So some of you guys are losing your mother, a mother, the mother of your child, or a friend who is a mother. I want to clarify this spare, please. Ooh. Yeah, Mentor of Wands, um, through the fire, an intense transformative lesson, all-consuming, leaving behind purity and temperance, resisting leads to burnout. This is somebody with a light complexion, any gender and any age, so this could be you or this could be the woman who's ill, uh, teaching a lesson or one is being brought to you. Someone spiritual sharing through teaching. Did I just say that with the 1818? Okay. Someone spiritual sharing through teaching. So this is a huge lesson. Okay. Accepting what is. Um, 
you know, when you initially get bad news and then you try to protect others instead of telling them the truth, eventually it comes back on you. Your intentions are pure, but it's really better if you just tell the truth. I mean, you don't, don't, don't pad the facts. Don't hide any of the facts. Um, be real and be upfront. It's the swords and the empress. You know what's happening. Ace of Swords can be truth and clarity and communication. The Empress is about abundance. Okay, so things, you were hopeful, and then your hopes got dashed. Okay, so this person has to rest. This person has to take it easy, and you know it. Truth and clarity and communication. It's also recognizing that this person needs to rest. It could be stomach cancer, could be breast cancer. They could be pregnant, or you could have found out that you got cancer probably at the same time you're pregnant, or you went in for a pregnancy check, and surprise, surprise, your cancer has come back and it's spread. Where is Venus? Venus is an Aquarius socialite. scales the scales of justice so it's kind of like there's this fear now that somebody's going to be leaving the world just when we found out that she's bringing somebody else in this is a sense of ease so yeah somebody may be extremely ill and held or undergoing some kind of operation due to an accident or a disease I was going to say clarified poverty, but the cards immediately came out. But you haven't lost her yet. All is not lost yet. Poverty. You haven't lost everything yet. Okay? The world is, it's Saturn, it's karma, it's... You're receiving very little, maybe crumbs, probably enough to keep you going. You could be, you know, Three of Wands is voicing your intent also. You wish you could give them rainbows and lollipops. You wish <coughs> that everything will work out right. The world is a culmination Wands is an opportunity. Voicing your intent. Okay, you have a goal. Which direction are you going to go in? Well, you know, everything hasn't fallen apart yet. I'm still hoping that everything will work it out. We can work it out. Seven of Cups is about having many options. Okay, it's also about fantasy, illusion. Delusion. It's Venus and Scorpio. Okay, so it can be dreamy. So you can be You might be telling yourself that everything's going to be all right. It might be hard to face reality at the moment. Okay, but, you know, also at the same time, you realize that you haven't lost her yet. And you're still hoping that things will get better. You're still hoping that magic and a miracle will happen. And in your wildest dreams, this is what you're wishing for. This is your dreams. Please don't take the girl. Have you guys ever heard that song? It's a really sweet song. I can't remember who it's by now. Um, Don't take the girl. 
and it's a really sweet story about this boy growing up and you know he he's spending time with his father he's spending time with his best buddy old friend old pal and then here's the neighbor girl you know a sweet little girl wearing her dungarees and all that and the father's like well we'll take her too and and the boy's like no no don't take the girl and then you know they grow up they they grow up through life and as teenagers they fall in love and eventually they're young they get married and here there are many many years later and she's dying and he's singing and begging to god please don't take the girl you know and he said that throughout his whole life you know dad don't take the girl dad don't take the girl and then the final request is god don't take the girl please don't take her If I close my eyes forever, will it all remain unchanged? If I close my eyes forever, will it all remain the same? Sometimes I get so scared inside. Sometimes I get so scared and sometimes it's hard to hold on, so hard to hold on to a dream. It isn't always what it seems. So it is possible that they went in for something and discovered something else. Wow, guys, I'm actually crying there. I mean, when they put that song in my head, it brought tears to my eyes. High honor. Clarify how on her place. By the way, guys, there is an extraordinary amount of number sevens in here. Not an extraordinary amount, but, you know, there's there's seven, there's seven, and then there's another seven. That's three sevens. Okay. High on her. High on her. So this could be also... Um, public visitation or this could I want to say this could be a public figure or this could be just a pillar of society somebody who's well loved why are they making me look at the wheel high honor oh spokes spokes okay um, somebody that is spoken very highly of or you're speaking very highly of, or it's just high hopes. Oh, fuck. Oh. You have high hopes. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'll be back. Yeah, guys. Um, actually, something just occurred to me. Uh, you may have thought you were pregnant and you were hoping that somebody was pregnant only to find out it's something else. Most likely cancer could be, you know, like I said, stomach cancer possibly. Or... High hopes and a miscarriage. Miscarriage. Pluto is death and rebirth, transformation of power, big changes, tall, big, big judgment, big Pluto, big passion, huge passion, large passion, tall passion. Judgment is a wake up call from the universe. So you may have set your hopes too high only to have them dashed. For some of you guys that were pregnant, this could be a miscarriage or this is a high risk situation. I was I was talking about the chariot earlier and saying it's a carriage. I can't remember if it was at the beginning of this video or the two other times I attempted to film. False person, miss, missed, or the veil fooling not what it appears beyond what you expected yeah so for some of you guys this may be a uh, 
a miscarriage, a huge wake-up call. Chariot, there's that Cancerian energy, okay, riding in like a storm, determined, aiming for the finish line, they're making me look at the arrow, which direction, you could have lost a baby in a traffic accident, or the, losing the baby is the result of a traffic accident, you could have been driving home. They're, may, they're making me look at the boobs. There, there may have been a lump in your breast also. The angels are calling you home. The voices are rising. The trumpet call has been put out. The chariots have been released. The race has begun. The clock is ticking. Shoot your arrow. Shoot that poison arrow to my heart. I want to say radiation. Going through some radiation. That's about the only thing you can do. Huge wake up call from a uh, a healthy, unhealthy lifestyle. Four of Swords, seclusion, silencing the fears. Want to get away? Vacation, the need to escape, calm down. This is the, uh, it feels like Cancer Capricorn cusp. Here's Jupiter and uh, Capricorn. Needing to rest at home, wanting to stay away from people because you're trying to deal with the results. The cold, hard facts are you're sick and it's progressing. You might just want to go home after hearing the news. And it most likely took the wind out of you. There's been a change. Yep. Rainbows. Here's the rainbow again. The rainbow is really catching my eye. Okay, so what is that? Rainbow uh, Neptune. The colors, creative, imagination, sparkling. Um, Life is lollipops and rainbow. I, I said lollipops and rainbows before, yeah. So basically, you could have got some bad news. And your partner... is dealing with it. Basically, you just want to go home and go to sleep. You don't want to talk to anybody. Your partner keeps checking on you because they're concerned. This is Jupiter and Capricorn being responsible, being generous. Can I get you anything? What do you need? What can I help you with? You want to go home? What do you need at home? What do we need at home? Two of Pentacles can also be bonding. And I get it's paper money also. So it can be bonds. It could be a check. It can be a gift certificate. It's also obligations, energetic obligations. So there's going to be a lot more responsibilities from now on. Because now you have to pay attention to your body, your soul, your heart. For some of you guys, this can be could have to do with the heart also with the cancer eclipse energy two is also about decisions and balance So you might be freaking out because now you have to go into some intensive treatment. 
but your partner's right there with you. You're not alone. What, Cancer? Message false person and distant horizons. I want to go to, I want to go with you. I wish I could do this. I wish I could go there. I wish I had this opportunity. Or looks like we missed it the first time. Queen of Wands reversed. Hesitant. And I want to say florid. Usually this is a person of such inspiration. She's sexy. She's a leader. She confronts everything head on. She's strong. But look, it's reversed. I don't know if I have the strength to go through this. I hope I can make it through this. I hope she makes it through this. I'm going to help you get through this. We'll get through this together. Let me get a conclusion, please. Can I have a conclusion to the story? Unexpected income. This could be a little bit of stroke a lot, or it could be a breather, a moment where you can recoup. Hi, Andy. Um... Hold on. Cute. I, I have a young man in here wanting to buy a present for his mom. How sweet. Okay, so unexpected income. This is, um, well, definitely something you didn't expect. It's like thinking you had $5 in your bank account and discovering you had like 20 It's getting a rebate, getting some money back. You know, uh, I was going to say some of you guys, this could be tax return. <laughs> um, we're in Capricorn, so it could be a little bit of extra revenue. A drop in the bucket. Last time I had this card, I was getting Trump change. Let's clarify unexpected income. Trump change. So there's some kind of bonus. In, oh. Something that you didn't expect. It could be time, money, energy. Well, it could be any type of energy. <laughs> it's, it's like a reserve or there's uh, not a lot of pressure, but I almost want to say you have a little capital. Okay, so with psychic downloads, like I said, two to three days, either the scenario will happen or the information is integrated. So we've got Ace of Cups, self-love, the golden chalice, a relationship where you are, you are free and unrestricted in the confines of a relationship bond. Excuse me, Mentor of Swords. This is basically the lessons about the strengths and the limitations of the intellect. Okay, it's also somebody who promotes unity, and it can be a sudden uh, rush conclusion. Often physical violence, you know, from ending a relationship to killing. So it can be domestics and assaults. And then the devil, self-sabotage, Capricorn, body aches. So there could be some pain that you initially had, but now you know the reason for, for the pain. It may not have been clear, but you have a concrete, solid reason for the pain. And this is almost like treating it. So you may 
be like you may have been under some intense medical or chemical or chemotherapy okay and you may say you know what I want to die peacefully I don't want chemo anymore I don't want it I'm only killing myself faster I've had enough I'm going to spend the rest of my days enjoying my life. So that's a reserve, preserve. I want to preserve my happiness. I don't want to be under the constraints of something else. Something else has power over me. I love myself too much to let this evil take me over. Okay, so that could be a sign that you're going to do something about it or that... You know what? I accept it. This is what it is. I'm going to go through it, and I'm not going to stress about it. If I die, I die. If I get better, I get better. If I don't get better, well, then I'm going to live my life. I'm not going to spend it here in the hospital sick on chemicals. They want to go home. Okay, wait, let me... For some of you guys, that Mercury sextiling Neptune can be... I've treated myself so badly in the past. It's time I start taking care of myself better. What was I going to say? Um, the devil. The devil is Capricorn energy, so it can be cruel. It can be cold. It can be dark. So you could finally realize that you beat yourself up your whole life and you could make a resolution to treat your body better okay and then oh the wheel of fortune popped out that's kind of why I, I stopped for a second that and I had somebody in the store but the wheel of fortune this is taking your relationship to another level but I also want to say the four is catching my eye stage four cancer the wheel of fortune is a leveling up it's completing a cycle it's it's Jupiter okay it's Jupiter it's the husband leveling up stepping up crushing the wheel of time so I want to say always and forever and actually that song popped into my mind a second ago crushing ball crushing the things that control us So some of you guys are starting chemotherapy. Some of you guys are stopping chemotherapy to get back the enjoyment of life. Such a cruel treatment to the body. I mean, how do you... You treat a dangerous cell with poison? It doesn't make sense. And then the side effect of the treatment of your sickness is to be sick? <laughs> That's sickening. <laughs> Sorry, just saying. Sick. Sick. Somebody's sick. Taking things. Stepping up the level of care at home. So this could be setting you up at home. Making things easier. So there may be some, you know, renovations and some fixing up to do at the home. In order for you to get around. So this is the next stage. I'm here for you always. I love you forever. And some, like I said, some of you guys could realize that the cancer has progressed to the next level. Stage four. Which means an untimely death. For some of you guys, the fear of God went into you the moment you realized that you were sick and there's a possibility that you were going to die. You may not have known if your partner was going to be there or if they were going to run away. Okay, but you know, ring the bells, ring a ding ding. They love you. Okay, they want you. They keep making me look at the diamond ring on the finger. They're married. They're betrothed to you. They've pledged their love and service and their obligation to you. Okay, so they may be stepping up and taking more care of you, taking on more responsibilities at home, 
making home changes to accommodate you as you move through into the next level. Like I said, for some of you guys, it's stage four cancer. Ah, that's so funny because I was just actually thinking about this card, um, the Venus and Aries anyways, I was thinking about the transit, going after what you want, being brave, Okay, so this person, your husband, they're really, really brave, and they're being brave for you. Okay, there's something in here. I saw something turn over in here. I knew I did. I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm crazy, but um, I know I saw something. Ugh, really? Okay. Sorry, guys, I gotta go through this. Because I saw something turn over in here. I swear I did. It may have done a somersault because sometimes um, cards like to do somersaults in my hand. I feel like I missed something. Like two cards were stuck together. Weird. Okay. Weird. <laughs> okay, well, you know, we do have a Mercury transit, so it's possible that I have missed something or I didn't see something that we saw before. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess it may have fallen out. Okay, Four of Wands, 11 11. Not only do you have a 10, but it goes right to the Four of Wands, completion of a cycle. Okay, so you may have established that you actually have help, that somebody's taking care of you. They're helping set you up at home. You could be going back home to settle in or while you're in the hospital taking care of whatever it is, they're at home um, making it. I want to say making it your personal escape, making it your personal sanctuary, making sure everything that it's, uh, for some of you guys that are having a baby, it's baby proofed, proof, proof of your love. They've just proved to you how much they love you. Four of Wands is 11-11. It is a portal to go after what you want. Okay, this is freedom. This is peace. I, I see the dove, so that tells me 22, right? The number of peace. That is exactly where this Saturn, um, Saturn-Pluto conjunction will be at. So it's be committed to your passion. Okay, so obviously in this case, you're their passion. They're really making a commitment to you, and they're building a foundation um, probably... The relationship will be better than it's ever been before. Nine of Pentacles, Abundance. They might be setting up like the bed, the bed rest or maybe a hospital bed at home. And I want to say there's like a bag of things to knit, puzzle books, books to read. Um, Venus and Virgo, having many things you're good at. but not being, not anything in particular. It's kind of a jack of all trades energy. It's also many piles. Hold on, hold on guys. Many piles or many projects. So it's kind of, you've got a lot of things unfinished. Don't concern them. Don't concern yourself with them right now. You need to focus on your health. Not your circus, not your monkeys. Don't spend energy unnecessarily wasting away on things that don't concern you or things that you can't control. Okay, so this feels like a drama-free home. So it's kind of like you're at home and anybody, if you're receiving any visitors, he's going to be like, don't come in there crying. Don't come in there sad. You need to be happy. Okay, don't bring that negative toxic energy into my household. I do not want my wife to get upset. Okay, so they're kind of fielding your many visitors.
making sure that there is nothing that can bring you down. Only the utmost, only the best for my sweetie. Eight of Cups. Yep. No toxic shit. Um, nope. Check your shit at the door. Check your drama at the door. Check your issues at the door. We do not allow this in here. Okay. And if you walk in here crying, I'm going to tell you to go home. Okay. You're going to have to sacrifice this visit. So there's a lot of sacrifices that have to be made. And don't, don't freak out about it. You may realize that you may have to make a lot of sacrifices. You may have to sacrifice a lot of things that you like doing. Nothing in particular, though. It's just that you could be very, very weak. You're in recovery. Nineteen, the sun, work, three of pentacles, and prince of swords. Okay, so the father knows. Oh, oh, don't do that. I'll do it. The sun is all is well. Okay, it's growth. It's putting your energy into anything that makes you grow. It is also attention, focus, and energy and love. Being poured into something now the Sun is currently in Capricorn so we we have that energy so it's growth do it yourself or working together it's Mars in Capricorn get to work so it's kind of like the male rolling up the sleeves and getting to work Prince of Swords Fighting for an idea. The male in the household or the father is the one that's going to help promote growth. They want this person to heal. It's possible that they could build them a... I want to say a wheelchair, kind of like enticing them to exercise or enticing them to move. Please get some physical exercise every day. You're going to get weaker and weaker if you don't exercise those muscles. So this could be, you know, I don't want you to get atrophied. So they could be telling you, I'm going to take you for walks every single day. I'm going to build you a wheelchair. I'm going to build you a ramp. Whatever we need to do, I'm going to make sure you get out every single day to smell the fresh air and to feel the sun on your face. Aww. So it feels like a pledge. I'm going to do this. <coughs> Sometimes I see this as a lawyer. Sun and Capricorn. See all the Capricorn energy? Sun and Capricorn, Mars and Capricorn, Capricorn into Aquarius cusp. So that would be Enterprise, Enterprise of the Universe. <laughs> um, Gonna go watch Star Trek. Enterprise into the universe. Yeah, this is something about somebody's watching Star Trek. <laughs> or somebody likes to watch Star Trek. Go where no man has gone before. Stay strong.
Well, anyway, I want to say you're watching reruns of like Star Star Trek, um, probably Enterprise, and um, I don't know why, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer just popped into my head too. If I do this, then you can do this. So this could be also ideas of what you can do to make things easier. There are just, just things you have to do when you have somebody who's hurt at home. Like you got to make sure you got tissues. Um, if somebody's sick, you know, you got tissues. You got to have a decongestant, that kind of thing. If, you know, if it's a cancer patient, got to have all your medication, got to have your water. You know, um, if it's an actual like hospital bed set up, the IV, um, the machines, toe, toe, what about the toe? I keep getting wheelchair, wheelchair. this will be like I'll drive you to wherever you need to go to all your appointments to all the doctors yeah um wow you're lucky to have a husband like that 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 guy really loves you don't take the girl can you have a card of affirmation please and thank you Comfort, Archangel Azriel, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. Yeah, so it could be, I think I mentioned it earlier, it could be heart disease or something wrong with the heart they hadn't spotted before. Creative writing, Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. So that could be what you're doing now. Now that you're stuck at home, you could be doing a lot of writing. It could be blogging. So the wheelchair, I was sitting somebody, I was seeing somebody sitting in a wheelchair. They could have a tray in front of them with a laptop. You could be blogging or vlogging or just being on online. For some of you guys, um, if there was in fact an answer accident, you could be consulting with the lawyer or filing a police report on at any rate um prince of swords this is this can also be i want to say this can also be writing but making a police report for something some of you guys are making a police report uh maybe somebody was driving crazy some kind of abuse aggress it could be aggressive driving a charger or maybe you have a charger what is that a Chevy Chevy charger maybe you had to get a new vehicle because of the recent handicap creative writing Archangel Gabriel make time to write oh I already read this write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book so that's exactly what you could be doing this is work Okay, you could be collaborating, you could be consulting with a publisher, or you could be looking up how to publish something, because moon, moon is in Gemini today, yeah? So we're applying, we're filling out forms, we're creating. So yeah, you're putting some words down. Definitely. I can see that. Talking about a double-edged sword. One more. 
from the Hawaiian Healing Intentions deck. I know we're over an hour. I'm always over an hour. What can I tell you? With these constant starts and stops, sometimes I get a little lost where I, where I am. Teaming up. Yeah, so this is kind of like setting you up to work at home because of some type of injury or illness. Ooh, Ke'akua, the god or goddess. Twelve, oneness with spirit. Twelve is about surrendering. Last year was a 12 year, a universal year. So it taught us that we needed to get closure <coughs> and to step back and look at things in a different way. Things ended for a reason, okay? So new things can begin. Twelve is also three. So this is about your journey. It is about your ideas, your beliefs, how you communicate them, how you travel through life, your journey from source. My intention is to fully embrace my oneness with spirit by allowing the creativity and inspirations that are my divine spark to be expressed in my everyday life. That will be what you're doing here. You have always been one with spirit. To be alive is to have the opportunity to express heaven on earth. Your talents, desires, and inspirations are God's gifts to you, and it is up to you to choose to share them. With each choice you make, you have the opportunity to honor your oneness with spirit and recognize that every cell of your body is an aspect of the divine. Yeah, so you definitely could be, you know, journaling and writing about your experience, what you're going through, blogging, blogging. Um, I want to say making videos, but I've got no social media cards here at all. It just says work, and then Capricorn is, you know, physical, physical labor. physically working on some communications this could be a proposal to all right guys that's all i got for today i love you i'll see you tomorrow take care